What's up guys, welcome to the YouTube video. And in this video, it's gonna be a little bit different and I'm hoping an introduction to my storybook content. So I, I actually am mean to do like an introduction for you guys who are not familiar with this game, but I have been playing this game a lot over on Twitch. It's called Storybook Brawl. And this won't be an introduction in terms of the basics. I'll make sure to do that. But what it is is gonna be my first video because I just gotta show you guys. Basically, if you are familiar with the game, we get the most unreal shop on turn one. And then we do an unorthodox strategy, at least it's the first time I've done it, we get an early embiggening stone and go full dwarves. You guys got to see it to believe it. It was kind of a crazy game. One for the books. There's a lot more of this content coming out. And if you have any questions or anything like that, drop, drop them in the comments below. I'll see you guys. Peace. Yeah, the unfortunately, Chris King is just is not that good. All right. I've been hyping up Pied Piper, but I don't actually have bought. But I would pick Pied Piper here or even Mad Catter. I think it's actually Mad Cat here, but I don't have the dust for it. One character should never draft. Um, yeah, I, do, I, do, I need the dust myself. <laughs> I'm giving the dust to you guys instead, though. I'll give the dust to you guys instead. We're going to do Horde Dragon. What are the odds? Someone clip it. What are the odds? What is this? Okay, unfortunately, I have to lock for two turns. I roll past this, right? I roll past it, right? There's no way I, I do this. No, there's no way it's gonna. I'm gonna lose. Oh, there's no way I do this. Meme it up. Guys, I think I have to, I have to, I think I can't do it. No, 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 I can't do it. My MMR is too precious. Because if, if the egg dies, then what do I have? All right, we'll do it for the content, I guess. Minus seven for an egg that's gonna die. It still gives me Easter egg. <laughs> All right, so for this to work, I need to get a tier 4 treasure, right? Or a tier 3 combined. I think... I think Peter Pan's kills my Humpty, like, most of the time. So, if I combine a tier 3 treasure, I get a, a level 6... A level 6 treasure, which is very good. A level 6 treasure early... Okay. All right, perfect. Let's go. Saved. Holy shit. So I have a treasure map, and then I have a weak board, but whatever. I Imagine if that thing died. If it died, I would be down six gold. At least now I have, like... To, actually, think about this. This has the chance to give me gold now. So I would have been down gold, but now I can actually gain gold and fill up my board. This is great. This is actually great. Even an early five for Monkey's Paw? Yeah, true. I can I can go for a five drop. I think a six drop is a little... Some six drops are actually... I mean, Spear would be insane. In Beginning Stone... Wait, let's go for early and beginning stone. The triple egg into early and beginning stone. That's like the dream. Although beginning stone is kind of awkward. I guess I get forced into dwarves. 
Also, I lose here. But okay, it's like... Oh no, he gets a slay. So I'm, I want to combine a 3-drop. That's, that's the dream here. That is the dream here. Should we go for a two drop and go for monkey's paw or like a five drop? I think we want to go for a three drop. A four drop would be even better, but. Let's go for three drop. So what three drop are we on the, we're not even on the horizon for a three drop. We don't have any pairs. I know you guys are sad that I lost the egg. However, you gotta keep it, you gotta keep in mind. Okay, actually, Black Hat was better than the Cut Purse. Black Hat was better than Cut Purse, actually. Because it's, it's another token with the support, and then we could buy the spell. Because let's be honest, I don't care about Donkey. Whereas Black Hat works with the token support, and I get a spell out of it. Yeah, so it was probably always Black Hat there. Because Donkey does not, not that great. I mean, it has potential to do okay for a round or two. But it's not something I want to keep around, where I can keep Black Cat around for a while. Black is just a better unit. Okay, we got two gold out of that. Very nice. Donkey died immediately. Okay. Avella kills me always. Alright, we're bleeding life badly. So the only way we can stop bleeding life is to combine three cost or higher. And that's the only way we can come back. So that's the that's the goal here. And I think Peep's a good start for that. And so is this. Peep's a good start, right? Usually because of the Mim. Or is it not that great? Maybe I should be rolling for triples, right? I look into Mycia. I like Peep usually. Okay, we lock these because we just want triples. Ah, uh, it's 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 rough, but if I triple any of these, tier six stabilize immediately. Sell Arthur in this. You think it's worth to sell Arthur in this for double peep? Is it though? Because Arthur would. If I triple this, Arthur would be relevant. It's one gold. Mm, I'm floating one gold, but if I get a, if I get a sleigh, then I can buy them. No problem with the sleigh. Of course, I had to get the sleigh with the cat here, and I do. So I get the gold for it. It's fine. I lost the mim though, which is bad. Oh, this guy's a big shadow assassin. Quite early, holy! This shadow assassin is massive. So I'm bleeding like crazy. This guy just has a massive. Shadow. He's gonna, he's gonna get so many procs off of this. Wow, this guy's gonna be a problem. All right, now we are bleeding like crazy. But the goal is to triple. So is it in Bigany Stone or is it uh, okay in Bigany Stone and we do, and we do Adventurer? In Bigany Stone, do Adventurer? Holy shit! Obviously, Magic Sword is crazy as well. Stone Dwarves? Should we just go Stone Dwarves then? The problem is by doing Adventure, I'm gonna... <laughs> Look at this 
immediately changed the board. I went from... This is incredible. What an immediate change of board. I literally sold my whole board and bought a brand new one. Theme big and he's throwing away. Kind of sick. This is a sick game. If this if this works out, this is a sick game. So we, we do go dwarves, right? And that's like the best thing to do with the stone. Sketchy how? There's... There's plus 60 on this board. 4 times 15 is plus 60, plus 60 on this board. This is better than anything that anybody can hope to have. No, not to mention it's more than that. It's double. Plus 75, 75 on this board. And I get another slate. Now, now I'm level 5 already. 4 units is not sketchy at all because... The amount of stats I'm getting is ridiculous at this point. Do my tokens also get uh, the buff? Or no? They don't, right? They don't, right? The, the tokens are separate. That would be disgusting if the tokens got the buff. Double Adventurer. Let's go. All right, boys. Level 6, here we come. Now, what's the benefit of being level 6 so early? Well, the benefit is that in Big Stone, power leveled me to level 6 with Adventurer. And now we can do level 6 stuff while still having strong stats on the board. Don't get me wrong. We can still pick up some W's and stuff. And then we can have a bigger chance to get Lordy. And look, at, look how bad Angry is compared to everything else. Now, we don't want Angry for shit. But as I mentioned, we're going to be level 6. There's a big chance we're going to be level 6 right now. So, I guess we could do Lordy stuff. But we can still pick up W's along the way. And we could also just do, like, pivot to level 6 stuff. Because we are level 6 way sooner than anybody else. So, I don't, I don't usually have this experience. I don't know what to do here. All I know is I'm going to be level 6 on level 10, uh, 10 gold. So, I got to figure out what I can do to make my board better. But, of course, the goal here is to... Uh, he's probably looking at my board like, what the hell is this? You know, Princess White sucks because none of my dwarves are dying. And I didn't get any XP. Oh, shit. That's kind of awkward. That's a little bit awkward. What did I even buy at this point? More doublies and stuff? I could theoretically get, but we're gonna get level six anyways, right? Although this is relatively nice. That's a pretty fat range unit. Wait, if I if I is it ever thieving? Forking rod, thieving, reduplicator. What's better for level six, reduplicator? What is it? What is the better for level six? Forking rod? I have no idea. But I'm gonna be before everybody, so I'm gonna steal level crappy level. I'm gonna steal crappy units. Where I'm, I'm level six, so I gotta be mindful of that. That's a big ass adventurer. Okay, doubly's gonna be massive. We should do doubly stuff. It's free gold, sure. It's free gold, but I mean, so is for, so is forking rod with. I would have stole these. Mm. Huh? This guy is sort of like me, except. Wait, this. He looks sort of like me, except he got there by bossies. Wow. Man, my doors are never dying. So this is the saddest princess wire in the world, but it doesn't matter. We're level six now. I think Romeo was actually a decent strategy with this because Romeo and Juliet become huge, right? Even Arthur is like really decent here. Ah, but Juliet isn't in big end. Only Romeo is. Fuck. But Arthur isn't big end. That seems decent. That's like a. a that's like a. How do we say? 
It's like a ramp in the royal department. We just ramp up like crazy. Should I, should I actually go for Arthur stuff? Are six costs even better than most of these units is what I'm saying. That's my point here. Alright, we can force some trees. I'm fine with that. I can have a massive roaming village. Okay, also, wait. Spellweavers are just good. Spellweavers are going to be massive ass range units. And sure shots are going to be great. So, sure shots going to be great. We could do good boy stuff. Spellweavers are just good. Double leads are just really good. And Big Stone is so. This is my first time having a Big Stone, so there's so many interesting things that can happen here. Just like tripling any level 3 unit is really good here. Massive Spellweavers. I think Arthur could be very decent as well. You just basically are ramping into Royals. But this is what a stabilization. This is incredible. I called this. I said we're going to get a Big Stone. We did it. I said it. Ironically, it happened unironically. I mean, these are just big units. They're just real big units. And on the side, I could do like... Did we ever... It was all a dream? For Morgan? For Morgan or Gwen? We got Lordy. But we're not even really dwarfed out of our mind yet. But it's better... Like, I could sell Romeo and put... Romeo... I could do better than, right? I could do better than Lordy. Alright, let's get doubly. Let's get some more doublies in. That's what I want to see, some more doublies. My stats are just too large. I'm not going to fully commit to Lordy, though. I can still do tree stuff. Yeah, this stone's awesome, man. I can still do tree stuff. Fat ass pigs. I can do fat pigs. If I combine a fat pig, the pig's never gonna die and I get infinite gold. I think pig's also really decent because it's never gonna die. That's a, that's a six drop pair, which gives me holy grail, right? There's good boy, but good boy is pitiful. That's just a fat ranged. I got, is this better than ranged now? Andy, yo, cheers, man, to the man who takes health, talks so fast, but is always saying something smart. Yo, Andy, thanks for Twitch Prime, man. How much does this give me? This gives me an extra two two for all my dwarves. This was a ranged unit. I right, Herc is holy grail. Hmm. Not to mention, Lordy is a pretty shitty unit on his own, right?
Right, my luckage will never die. This anti-value here. I think Invader Soldier is just gonna kill the whole lobby before anything even matters. I can just force trees because like Because what what is Herc gonna do for me? What is Shrek gonna do for me, you know? Oh, I think I just I had knighthood here. Two, three, four. Are we out of adventure now? Lordy gives 4-4 four, four to all my dwarves for each dwarf I have. So I get 28-28 uh, to each dwarf. 28 to 28 to each dwarf. Which, at this point in time, is pretty decent. Of course, we want to get an Echo Wood to bolster that. Now, I probably could have gone even... So what I really need to do is get doubly... Two more doublies. The doublies are going to be massive. Unfortunately, somebody else is going dwarves. It's why I can't find doubly, because someone else has my dwarves. Wow, that thing got a two for one. This guy has hat ball. Kill the range. Thank you. I think I lose this. Okay. Oh, sorry. Seven times uh, four is 21. I, I know that. I do know that. I do know the math. Sorry, seven times four is twenty-eight. What? Why is? Why it is twenty-eight? Why, why is it not? It includes itself. One, two, three, four, five. It is twenty-eight. Oh, I don't have gr fucking green knight. That's why. It's twenty-one because green knight. Now it's there. All right, cool. <clears throat> I really need to find these doublies, guys. Doublies are going to be really important. Also, I would like to consolidate the, the, the luckies as well. I need triply. Like my stats are kind of like, eh, they're okay. They could be a lot better. I can't complain, but it's like I feel like it could be, be a lot better. Loki has all the dwarves, right? Wait a minute. Do I just do high ho and roll, roll the dice? Nah, right? I could just roll for like a lordy. Huge. Now we just fucking skyrocket. Excuse my French. I just skyrocketed. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, Loki's dwarves are pitiful. There's no way. Okay, maybe Loki has some, some, some serious dwarves right now. Maybe I should be respecting it.
Back row on the triple sword for extra damage. You think Echo up front? I guess Echo is up front because he doesn't have... What if he has Medusa or Apple Tree? Let's find out. Unsane, thanks for cheering one seven. Welcome back. Five months, man. How you doing? Appreciate you. No, he went full... Oh, wait. He went... He went from Dwarves to... To Jorm? Uh, I don't think it's going to cut it. I don't think it's going to cut it. He has... Yeah, I don't think it's going to cut it. Just don't eat a dwarf. Okay, perfect. He's looking at me. The superior dwarf. This picture was awesome, guys. What a game. This is a YouTuber, guys. Hi, YouTube. How you doing? Yeah, boss is underwhelming when I can do doubles instead. Imagine doing bossy when you can do doubles instead. This guy's hat ball, so that's really good. This guy's hat ball. Good luck to Mr. Hat Ball. Fog's gonna be good because I know this guy's hat ball. Merlin stuck to it. So this is going to be good. Should I, should I backline Echo it because of Hatball? The Fog should be doing work for me. What if he just puts in a random Medusa right now? He could be watching. I don't know. Frontline with Echo was a little bit scary. What is wrong with it? I know, I'm pretty sure he's just firmly Hatball. He has some big stats of his own. Look at that. Damn, it almost gets a 2 for 1. Okay, ah. Ow. Okay, he has Siren. That's scary. The Siren just cannot steal the Echo Wood. It's imperative it doesn't steal the Echo Wood. Holy shit. That was terrifying. If Siren stole that, I would have... Oh, wait, does, it still has a 1-1. One, one. Never mind, it's fine. Oh boy! I guess the question is, should I have done Lordy instead? I think Echo Woods can get a lot more out of this. Well, how unconventional. We have a hat ball versus dwarves endgame. How refreshing in this meta, right? How refreshing in this meta. Hat ball versus dwarves. Competitive. Royals are not in the picture. Trees. Good boy. Who are, who are those? All right. Now we just sit here and hope that we win. Now, of course, he could be adding like anything to. His, he could be adding Medusa right now, because he half his units suck. He has like three units that are bad, so he could just be adding Medusa or Apple Tree. So I'm a little bit scared. Should I avoid Medusa Apple Tree? I should, right? Nope, he just stuck to what he had. He had Pigamorph. I don't know. I don't know why I, I, I'm going so some stupid local against these guys. No Pigamorph. Nice. We did it. Why is he upset? I fought hard for that, man. I got indignity stolen. That's that's unorthodox. All right, I tripled an Easter egg. I tripled an egg to get a treasure map into a indignity stone and sold my whole board. I earned this one. Anyways, GG.